Hey, Kiwi Crate viewers, we are happy to introduce a new addition to our lines, the Maker Crate. And this is Douglas's first Maker Crate. He got this for his recent 10th birthday. And he went at this nonstop for what, two or three days? Three days maybe? And made this awesome punch pillow. Uh, it's kind of a seaweed, uh, sea plant under the water kind of look to it. But you can actually make all these designs. So this awesome pillow Douglas made 100% himself by punching all this yarn. And tell us a little bit, Doug, of this punch pillow. How'd you make it? Well, this is a punch needle. And you put yarn through it. You don't have to show us directly, but basically yarn goes in through there, in through the needle. And then what, what do you do? And then you punch it through the surface here this special it's kind of a grid like thing yep yeah. you can punch it through the holes there and then it makes a little a little uh, loop little loops so you can see how it made little loops all about the same length and then you tie it off on the back side and flip it over inside out and stuff it in the pillow right so then if you take the pillow out So it actually comes with the pillow already. Uh, you need a little bit of hand stitching to put it all together. My mom helped you with that. But yeah, there you go. You can see the backside of all of your punching and how you kind of tied it all off, right? So what did this kit come up with? Uh, well, it come with it. It came with not only the pillow, but also the surface by which you could make the yarn. And then also came with a bunch of colors of yarn that you only used about half of right so we actually planned this out together douglas and i and we looked at all the designs it has a frame that you put together to to put your surface on so that you're punching you can use that again and then it came with a couple of designs that you could use like that uh, what we ended up doing was actually designing our own with one of the printouts av available at kiwi uh, kiwi co and there it is this one was printed out and we actually were able to visualize this with the colors uh, where we actually went to um, KiwiCo and looked at the yarn colors and actually planned out what colors we we're going to use off that uh, pattern. And this is something cool that Douglas is going to teach us about. What is that, Doug? Uh, it's like some paper. Carbon paper, carbon transfer paper, right? And you stick the... Design. Sure. Yep. On it so that when you put like a pen. Here. Yeah, careful. Don't want to get on the carpet. But you're right. So you took this and you put it on the fabric, right? Yep. And, yep. Then, and then you traced and then that. You, so this all used to be a tracing of a design. And what was cool is after you trace it with the carbon paper, then you were able to use this. What's this? Like a pen, mm -hmm. like a marker, yep. but uh, it disappears in a certain amount of time. Right, so after a week or two, this fabric marker will disappear um, and actually fade away. So you can trace your pattern onto your fabric so that you know where to punch it with the different colors, uh, but that will actually fade to invisible over time. So that was pretty cool. So you learn about how to do a carbon transfer off your your print to the fabric, how to mark the fabric after you did a, a rough sketch there to make it a lot easier to see. Then use different color fabrics to actually fill in your whole punch pillow. And then after that was done, uh, mom helped you sew the back onto the pillow and you're able to stuff the pillow. Sewing. Yeah, there's the sewing right there. Yep. And now you got yourself your own maker punch needle pillow. So this was a really cool set. Uh, the maker line here is a little more arts and crafty. Uh, the, it, Douglas, how old are you? Ten. Ten. So this is a maker kit. I think it's designed for 14 and up, but our 10-year-old got it for his birthday. And this was actually, of all his birthday presents, this was the first one that he played with or basically made, right? And Lucas, who wants to say hello, uh, was also very interested 
in what Douglas was uh, making with the pillow. And we actually have a lot more yarn and a punch pillow, and we could probably find some more materials for you to even make another punch pillow sometime. Oh, look. And we actually, Dad, went into Photoshop, and, uh, you know, uh, we matched the colors up of the yarn, took a picture of the colors, and those were the colors that we wanted to do. But one thing that we noticed was it's actually a, it's a mirror image because uh, you're actually working on the back side of it. So, Douglas, hold it up towards you and, no, this one. So basically this was what you were working with on the back side, right? Mm -hmm. So you're, you're seeing the mirror image of it on the front side of the pillow. What was the hardest part of this? Probably the, probably the uh, punching. Probably the punching part that took the longest time. How long did it take you? How many hours? Probably it took you two or three days, right? Mm -hmm. But you can kind of take your time with this. It's therapeutic punching. Don't need any, you know, knitting skills or anything like that. It was pretty easy. And you get a pretty cool pillow at the end of this. All right. So anyways, this is the Punch Pillow Maker Crate. Uh, so this is Douglas's first this month in November, the Punch Needle Pillow. Uh, we're excited to see a new uh, maker uh, kit, a new maker project, also to add to his collection every month here. And you can see other people's designs with the sunset and whatnot. And you can make tassels, is that right? With the yarn? Yeah, with extra yarn. Okay, yeah, maybe you guys can add some more tassels to the uh, to the edge of the pillow there. History of punch needles. <laughs> Look at the history of punch needles. Did you read through that? Mm. No? Yeah, you can all right, this is the Punch Needle Pillow by KiwiCo and the Maker Crate. There it is, exploring punch needle textile art and design for a cozy, colorful pillow. And here is Douglas's awesome finished product. Let me hold that up for us, the Punch Needle Pillow. Thanks for watching. Douglas review his Punch Needle Pillow by KiwiCo. Subscribe.